Hey, how are we doing this Sightful Sunday? Jesse here from my YouTube channel, Jesse and Eyes, and today I'll be talking about converging and diverging exercises. Alright, so if you have not checked out my palming eye exercise video from last week, it's something you must check out if you're serious about improving your vision by eye exercises because relaxation exercise is something that you need to relieve tension in your eyes and strain and also you need exercises that will strengthen and help build your muscles and increase your field of vision which is something we're going to be getting into today with this exercise. So of course today converging and diverging exercises that we'll be talking about has to do with building and strengthening your eye muscles and increasing your field of vision. Prepare yourself to start seeing clearer! And this is an eye exercise that I have seen tremendous results with and again an exercise that I would recommend doing daily along with palming. So keep your palming in your routine and also with this. So how long do you do converging and diverging exercises? I would suggest doing it three to five minute sessions a day. So just yeah, two, three minutes, five minutes, whatever you feel is right. So where do you do these eye exercises of diverging and converging? You can do them indoors or outdoors, but personally I would recommend doing them outdoors because your range of vision is longer and you can practice seeing deeper in a distance. So if you don't want to go outdoors, of course there's winter, it gets cold, or you just don't feel like going outside, you can go somewhere where there's a window and you can just look out the window and do these exercises. But enough just talking about when and where to do it. I want to tell you guys how to do it. So what you do is you put your, um, your thumb up like this. Some people can use their finger like this. I personally choose to look at my thumb. You would put your thumb out in a distance, I don't know, like a foot or an arm's length away. You can do whatever. Whatever feels good. Alright, so we have our thumbs out. This is called the converging exercise that we'll start off with. So of course we're going to look at our thumb. And this time we're going to look a little closer. So of course your eyes will go cross-eyed. And you'll look a little crazy, of course, so maybe not in parks. Not too much in public. Maybe do this in the privacy of your backyard. So anyways, to know that you're doing this right is your eyes will cross and uh, your thumb or your index finger, whatever you look at, will become double. So in convergence, we'll be looking at our thumb and then looking midway or somewhere in between and then at our thumb midway in between. Diverging exercises. Alright, so diverging exercises, it's the uh, same idea, but instead of looking between your thumb and your eyes, you'll be looking farther in a distance. So of course, the farther the distance you can look, the better in a sense because you don't always want to be doing it in the same room you want to have varying distances so you would look at a distance maybe a tree or whatever you look at it look at your thumb look at it look at your thumb when I do the whole routine usually I will have my finger out I'll look in the distance for um, 10 seconds look at my thumb for 5 seconds and then somewhere in the middle for 10 seconds 5 seconds 10 seconds I keep on rotating so I can practice different depths close depths far depths close depths far depths so similar to converging, when you're doing diverging, when you're looking at distance, you should see two thumbs. When you're looking at your thumb, you'll see one. When you see closer, you'll see double. So of course, things should be blurry. So if you haven't lowered your prescription yet, check out my video on overprescription because if you want your eyes to get better and to strengthen, you need to leave room and to weaken your glasses. So you're doing the exercises. You look in a distance. If you're myopic, of course, it'll be blurry in a distance. You'll be looking at a tree and you'll notice that it's blurry. But the more and more you do these exercises, things will become clear. The tree that you might have kind of seen as a blur, you might start to see leaves and just seeing the different detail and fine detail that you never realized before. After starting to do these diverging and converging exercises along with relaxation exercises, here are some of the things that you will realize. Things that were blur will start to become clear. So things that you notice that in this distance you weren't able to see, you'll start being able to see clear flashes of clear vision so you'll notice even when you do this you'll start seeing days or moments where you're thinking wow I can see so clear and then it will go back to a little bit normal but um, of course it'll be like you'll see improvement and then it might go back down but in the sense it'll always be a little bit better than it always was and then before you started doing these exercises so sometimes you have to take uh, a step back to take two steps forward encouragement for you that you are not alone if things start sliding back a little bit also things that when you look at them right away, they were blurry, your lens will start to accommodate. So after you practice looking at a distance and closer, your eyes will start to um, be able to adjust to what it needs to be to see clear. So let's say you look at a sign right away and it'll be blurry when you first look at it, but when you 
stare at it or blink at it, it'll start getting clear. It might not happen right away, but eventually it will start happening, which is a really cool thing to start to experience. If you like my video, please like it. If you haven't subscribed yet, I have a lot of videos on um, improving your vision naturally and a lot of eye-related stuff because of my experiences with this. So please feel free to subscribe to subscribe yourself and see more. Also, if you have some four-eyed friends, don't be afraid to share this with them. This could be useful. And I wish I would have known all this stuff before I went for eye surgery. So, check out my other videos. And stay classy and blessings on ya. Bye!